Hey gang, today we're going to actually make our very first iPhone application. I'm going to walk you through the steps to create a basic hello world uh, one page you know, read only iPhone application. Very simple, very easy to do. So the first thing I would recommend is getting your images um, ready beforehand. For this application I I'm using one image for the uh, application itself and one image for the button uh, that the user will push to enter the application. So you'll notice here on my desktop I have two images. A larger one which is 350 pixels by 350 square. Um, you can make it smaller than that. Um, I wouldn't go much bigger than that um, just because won't fit on the iPhone screen. And then my second image is smaller. It's the one I'll, I'll be using for the button. And it is 57 pixels by 57 pixels. And that's um, kind of vital. That's the dimensions of those buttons. So you'll want to be sure to have one at 57 by 57. And notice they're both .png files. And that those are the image types for, that we'll be using in Xcode, so you'll want to save your images as .png. Okay, so I'm going to get us started in this video, get the file created and the Im images in there, and then the next videos are going to show you exactly how to um, add your content. So we'll open up Xcode, and you'll get a welcome screen, and you can navigate through this. Um, there are some helpful videos and tutorials and things, but for now we'll close it. And go up to the top of our screen and click File and New Project. And you'll want to be sure that you have Application clicked under the iPhone OS. And then click View Based Application and click Choose. Now name your project, whatever you would like. I'll name mine CSE611 and I'm going to save it to the desktop just because that's uh, usually where uh, I like to save things easy to uh, find and you'll get this um, Xcode window here and I'll make it a little bigger so we can see what we're working with and you'll notice over here on the left we have a number of files classes other sources resources frameworks and products and we're not going to work a whole lot with these files for this application um, but just know that um, when you're adding code and you know doing a lot of customization you'll be working with um, most of these files so the file we are going to be working with is resources so go ahead and drop that folder down by clicking the little arrow next to it and this is where you're going to drag your images that you have found so I'll just go ahead and click and drag my first image into my resources folder and click add and then I'll drag my second image into the resources folder and click add once more. Now I have both images in Xcode ready to use. Now the final step before moving on to adding stuff into the application itself is clicking the info.plist icon here at the bottom of the resources folder and you'll notice in this window here we have the icon file and then next to that it's empty if you double click in there you'll want to type in the file name of the image that you'll be using for the button in my case it is CSE 611 button Dot png. It's just this image right up here that I dragged over. And so now Xcode is going to know that that's the image to put for the button for the application. So now I will save my work, go to File and Save. And the next video is going to show us how to 
add our image, add some text, and make our application look the way we want it to.